issue a hurricane watch for Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast. And what that means is hurricane uh, wind probabilities are possible in the next 48 hours. It's time now to go prepare. The National Hurricane Center recommends thinking about putting your shutters up when a hurricane watch is issued. And we could be seeing a major category three hurricane off our coast early Thursday morning um, through early Friday morning. Now, you want to go get gas in your car, get your, uh, some money out of the bank, get some cash, make sure you have water, food for three days, and a gallon of water per person per day. Now, the track moved a little bit um, to the east, as you can see here from where it was. Don't follow the track too closely. We are still in it. Um, and it has been wobbling just slightly, apparently because it is moving so slow, any change in direction uh, can really change the uh, width of the track and the area of the track. So what one, one of the things you wanna look at is on the National Hurricane Center website, and this is the wind speed probability map. Um, this one has not been updated yet, it is still the 8 a.m. map, but it will show you um, tropical storm force wind speed probabilities for different areas, and right now we are in about a up to an 80% chance of tropical storm force uh, wind speeds, and they also have a hurricane wind speed probability map. Um, you can put that on a loop, and we are at about a 30% chance of feeling hurricane force winds uh, within the next two to three days. Um, so again, you want to be prepared. Think about putting your shutters up. Go to Home Depot, get your batteries. You just want to, don't want to be caught off guard. Now, um, Hurricane Matthew did hit uh, Haiti this morning at 7 a.m. as a major Category 4 storm with 145 mile per hour winds. I haven't seen much out of Haiti yet. I can only imagine the destruction that's happening right there. We'll probably know more later today. Um, so please keep checking the Palm Beach Post Weather Plus blog. We'll have updates. Uh, we have right now, when, you know, when to put your shutters up, which I just said. <laughs> Might want to start thinking about it now. Um, but we will be updating at every advisory. Uh, we also have links to our storm preparation page. And um, just to give you an idea, oh, here, here's another track forecast. This is on the South Florida Water Management District. And it gives you an idea of the different um, the models that they use. Now this would this is what the Hurricane Center looks like looks at and then they come to a consensus on the cone. So these also have tracked just a little bit to the east but again don't focus on that. We don't want to focus on the center of the cone because um, the storm could go anywhere inside of it. Uh, if you have any questions I'll be on Facebook um, answering them or if, I don't know if there are any uh, coming up now. I do have one question from Debbie Black Lewis. Is boarding up called for right now? Okay, so the National Hurricane Center recommends when a hurricane watch is issued that you board up. That's their recommendation. Um, you know, again, wind speed probabilities at 8 a.m. We had up to a 30% chance of feeling hurricane force winds, but any little wobble in this track could bring it closer to us. And it is a major category three storm. It is nothing to fool around with. You wanna take it seriously. Um, my boyfriend's at home right now boarding up. Not real happy about it, but <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> uh, we're pretty far out from the storm, but a, another reader is asking how much rain should we expect in coastal Palm Beach County? That's a good question. Um, yesterday they were thinking we weren't going to get a ton of rain. I mean, they were saying, you know, possibly two to three inches over a three day period because we are on uh, the, the side of the storm that's not producing as much rain. Now, Haiti down here, there they've got the brunt of it, the northeast quadrant of the um, storm, which they were talking possibly in some areas up to 40 inches of rain. Now, that's changed some today. Um, I just talked to a forecaster from AccuWeather earlier and he was saying there might be chance for four to five inches possibly over a three day period. So that could cause some freshwater flooding in places that don't um, drain well or that you know are low lying areas, places you typically expect to flood. Forecasters are more concerned about the um, wave action on the coast. There could be uh, 10 to 15 foot waves is what AccuWeather told me this morning along the beaches. So you want to stay away from uh, the beaches for the next, through probably Sunday. Okay, so again, please, if you have any questions, hit me up on Facebook. Um, and please be, keep checking the Weather Plus blog and the palmbeachpost.com. Uh, we'll be updating throughout the day and throughout the week, uh, 24 hours. This is Kim Miller with the Palm Beach Post.